Peace, everybody. This is Thomas Amal, and what a special day. This is Conversation Corner. This is part three of a series of a three that I wanted to do on uh, Dollars Want Me. That's the title, Dollars Want Me, a road to the new road to opulence um, by a young man, Henry Harris Brown. Actually, when I say young, I mean this book is probably closer to 100 years old. <laughs> um, but he talks about money in a different way. He talks about the mindsets of, of how we should think and what he suggests uh, as far as affirmations and things. And that's where I'm going to hit today. But I wanted to bring out, start off with a quote. Um, and it reminded me of something as far as within the business world. Like I said, um, many a times before I was in the corporate world for almost 20 years, but started working, um, period at a very young age. I was like nine, 10, 11. As a teenager, I was working at a tavern on weekends and most people didn't know it cause I was getting paid cash. They just knew I was getting money from somewhere, but I've always had that worker's mentality and to do whatever, you know, do whatever, figure it out and get it done. So with that, I started to uh, pay more attention to what people thought, their ideas. I started to learn a little bit more when it came to money. Um, and so when I read something like this, it sparks my interest. And it's not just because it's money. It's because it's a thought pattern that comes along with it. And I like hearing how people think. And it reminds me of a guy who at one point was the owner of a company, which I helped start. And he's moved on uh, and, and just made millions and millions from there. But... He has a law degree. And I was like, well, why do you have a law degree? You had no intentions of being a lawyer. He says, no, I, I, I went through all of that process as far as a lawyer and the law degree and all of that. He said, because I wanted to know how they thought. He said, I wanted to help as far as myself, help myself when it came to debate, um, to be able to go back and forth in a conversation with someone because he thought that that would help him in negotiation. So I, I thought that was just a, a really different way of thinking of how uh, being a, a better way of bettering yourself as better as well as bettering your company. So I get right along to it. And, and Mr. Brown made this comment. He was like, everything done to revolutionize civilization is small. Everything done to revolutionize civilization is small compared with the transforming power flowing in the mental attitude expressed in the thoughts did you get that? Everything done to revolutionize civilization is small compared with the transforming power flowing in the mental attitude expressed in the thoughts. Things want me, dollars want me, nature wants me, and God wants me. That's a serious statement and a serious comment. I hope you pay more attention to it. Listen to it a couple of times and then maybe you'll react to it the same way I did. You know, I've done my due diligence to pull out a lot of things and go through a lot of people's stuff. But this really is, is really good. I, I like this um, and what he says. And he went on and to give us some affirmations, those who believe in affirmations and who do them on a regular basis, which I do as well. Um, one of the things he says is what to avoid. And he says to avoid, I cannot afford it. He said, avoid saying that. Stop saying I can't afford it. It's not that you can't afford it because you went to lunch today. You went to lunch yesterday. You bought the cigarettes every day this week. You purchased the alcohol four or five times this week. You went and bought those shoes or you spent money on um, on some tires or something that you could have waited another six months for. But then you bought clothes. You did things where money was involved. That you probably could have waited on. So you could have afforded it. He said the better way of saying it is, is I just prefer to spend my money on something else. Simple. Don't say you can't afford it. Tell the truth. You probably can't afford it. But you just decided to spend your money on another thing. In another way. It's just that simple. Be truthful with yourself. And that's what he's saying. And here's another thing that he asked that you stop or suggest that you stop saying is I spend so much how many times have you heard that i spent so much and he says you know what all you did is just exchange cash for something of, of value you know an asset if you bought a purse 
and you spent $100 on that purse, that asset, that purse should be valued at $100. So think of it that way. And, and what he goes into uh, when he talks about spending is the experience. That's the, that's the thing. Freedom is the real desire. But he talked about the greatest dividend is experience. You know, because it goes with you. Experience is life and it equals, equals an expression. It tells who you are. It tells what you can do. It tells what your thought patterns are. Something else that he said. Um, think of it as an investment. Everything that you spend, always try and see the dividend that can come out of every dollar that you spend. So in essence, think first before you spend and, and just go throwing your money away. But if you feel if it's a necessity to spend money on something, think of it as an investment and think of the dividend that comes out of it. Isn't that a different way of thinking? Because I really believe so. And that's why I said you have to go all in when you come in with me. You have to, when you come in, you have to go all in. I did, and I'm reaping the benefits from it. I saw it as an investment. I understood that you have to spend money to make money, but you have to be cautious. You have, in, in a sense of not saying, I can't do it, I can't do it. I mean, you have to make sure that what you're spending on, make it smart. That's why I say think first, be smart. Be smart. Think first. Thomas Small Conversation Corner. Click the link below. Join on. Really, really pay more attention. I hope you're really getting in and using these things that I'm, I'm putting out here because I'm really pumping hard, doing my due diligence to do the best that I can to get information out to you in more of a cliff notes form as, as well as in a way which you can hopefully understand how I'm saying it. So, like I said, dollars want me a new way of opulence, um, a new road to opulence by Henry Harris Brown. Thomas Amal, Conversation Corner. Click the link below. Talk to you soon. Go all in. Peace.